Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over a few tips about your first publication. So you've entered graduate school or you've entered a lab and now you have data. And now you have a story to tell. What can you think about or what sort of things that you need to think about for that first publication, for the first story that you want to tell as a scientist? So what are some things that you may want to consider? I'm going to go back to the board and point out some things. And this is also um, a good point of discussion that you might have in your class with your professor. So the first thing you need is a story. So you're going to need some data. The second thing you have to consider are the people that were involved in the project. So these are issues about authorship. And usually the best practice is to gather everyone together at the table, figuratively speaking, or even at the table, and from the beginning of the project decide who is going to be on this publication. That's the best way of doing that. So everybody knows that this is part of their project, and this is part of a, um, a paper that they want to showcase to the world together. The third thing that you're going to need, the first paper, is going to be some mentorship with your writing. And there are various ways. Usually it's through your supervisor. And sometimes it can be also through your committee members. It can be through the writing center that you have on campus or with senior graduate students or postdocs in your lab. But don't be afraid to ask for help because in that first publication, it's going to be very difficult to write the story that um, are met up to the expectations of the scientific literature. The journal. How you write the story and what you write in the story and what sort of tables and figures you're going to show is going to depend on what the journal is requiring of you. So you have to read the journal's requirements and how they would like their papers submitted and what sort of supplementary data you also need to submit. So what are the types of publications that you can be involved with as a graduate student? It's not just the paper, we always talk about that first publication, but other things that you can be involved with is a review paper or a book chapter. And how do you get involved with book chapters or review, chap or review papers are usually through your supervisor. Your supervisor may have been requested by a book editor or a journal editor and they want to review on your um, field and usually a supervisor will ask you if you want to help write that review or the write that book chapter. This is something that you may also ask as well. As a student, don't be afraid to say, here are my writing skills and I want to work on my writing skills. And if you're good at it, especially if you're good at it, then ask your supervisor if there are any opportunities for that. Other writing things or other writing opportunities that I've seen students take are, for example, their student newspaper, their student magazine, um, their blogs, online organizations that feature scientific writing. And these are all opportunities that you have to showcase your written work. One example that I would like everyone to um, look into if you are interested in writing is a website called Science Borealis. And Science Borealis is a collection of all uh, Canadian science blogs that are out there. And if they think that you can contribute to their website, then they add you on as a contributor. So going forward for your first publication, remember, you're going to have that, you're, you're going to ask for that mentorship and ask for feedback throughout the process. Thanks.